today we are going to be taking you for a day out in Lake Louise. We are heading off on a trail, we are going to a tea house, we're going to be canoeing and it all started at 5am in the morning. gone 5 a.m. we've just arrived at the Lake Louise car park it's basically impossible to get a car park here at a reasonable time um, there's lots of buses and stuff available but if you want to drive yourself you have to get here really early so that is why we are here so early we are going to do the Plain of Six Glaciers hike today Brandon just went and got us some paper parking it's actually free parking before 7 and after 7 but because we're going to be hiking like between those hours we've got to get parking which is $22 for a day which is just ridiculous it's double what it was last year which is just insane but it's going to be a good day got this uh, very sexy headwear attire on ready to go and get on the trail so hot and sweaty. We've made it to the end of the trail. Two and a half hours it took us. It was definitely a stunning hike. Yeah it was actually so beautiful and we've kind of been really lucky with the fogs kind of coming and going and at the moment we've got clear views of this end glacier. We're gonna have some breakfast and then we'll tell you a little bit about the hike at the glaciers. had some breakfast and been admiring the views, what views there is. Um, believe it or not, there is six glaciers in this valley. You can really notice them at the moment because the fog's rolled in. But this trail is 14.6k round trip and we are at an elevation gain of 588 metres. Well, I don't know what the actual elevation is here. <laughs> I think it was 1700 or something. Yeah, it'd be over 1700 because I think yeah. Lake Louise is at like 1500 or something like that. So we're high up. It's a bit chilly. Unfortunately, you can't see it because of all of the fog, but through this valley right here is a massive glacier. You can see these glaciers at the top here, but right down there, just completely covered in rock. It honestly just looks like a rock path or something. You wouldn't even realize that it's a glacier under there. It's pretty cool. Bit scary, really. So we're going to start making our descent now. We're heading towards the Plain of Six Glaciers Tea House. Get some warm in us. Yeah, because it's like I said, it's a little bit chilly. But hopefully this fog clears out, so we can show you some more of the views. is the tea house we just went in for a nice hot cup of tea and we got some tea biscuits which I always thought were just like an Aussie scone scone but they're not quite, but they're not quite. yeah they're I feel like they're a lot fluffier and softer and the cream's not cream yeah I like loaded up my uh, tea biscuit with cream and it was butter <laughs> anywho <laughs> so that um tea house has been there since 1927 it was actually built by CP rail who were the company that actually started tourism in this area so they built it for the guests that were staying at the Chateau Lake Louise which is the famous Fairmont Chateau now um, so yeah the guests would like walk up or hike up 
Come for a tea and biscuits, exactly just like what we did nearly a hundred years ago. And it's worth it. It's such a beautiful hike. Like, the trails to the tea house are well maintained. They're nice and wide, open. You can't get lost. It's a beautiful spot. Yeah, very easy to get to. We actually went to a tea house here before. We went to the Lake Agnes Tea House, which is also really popular. When we went to the Lake Agnes Tea House, there was a massive line at the front, basically as soon as it opened. That one wasn't so bad, but there were so many people coming there now, like when we were leaving, all the seats were full. So be prepared to maybe wait. But or, also do wait. Yeah. Because it's worth it. Or get here early, just like us. The fog's lifted quite a bit now, so you can actually see the valley. It's amazing to think that there was a whole glacier running through this whole area once upon a time, and it's just slowly receding away and left us with these little bits of glaciers that are left. But my goodness, this view is so beautiful. I think one of the best things about this trail is that the landscape is so diverse. Like one minute, you're literally walking on rocky cliff faces, then you're on smoother trails, and then all of a sudden you're walking through all of these trees again. I like it when there's a little bit of variety. I don't love these midges that have come out with the no. sunshine, but... <laughs> Some spots you walk through and it's just midges. <laughs> cobwebs this morning, midges tonight. Yeah, so Today. many cobwebs yeah. this morning, man. Holy moly. The other thing that I really love about it is the colours. Like, we're just starting to go into fall now, so it's starting to become oranges and yellows in amongst all the, like, bright greens. Like, it's so pretty. I just love how Canada has these four distinct seasons. I mean, summer lasts for about five minutes, but... <laughs> Wait, if, they get summer? <laughs> but it is so beautiful that they have these like, distinct seasons. You really get to, you know, enjoy them and really experience them in a very different way to what we experience them back home in Australia. Pardon? There's someone climbing it. Oh, is there? Yeah. Oh, wow. I don't know if you can see, but there's a little speckle climbing up the side of that. Little red dot. Yeah. Here. That's sick. Oh. Not for me. It is not cheap to rent a canoe at Lake Louise. It's 155 Canadian dollars for an hour, or 145 for half an hour, so I don't know why you wouldn't just pay the $10. But yeah, we are out for an hour on this beautiful blue lake. If you didn't know what actually made this incredible color, it's because of a thing called rock flour, which is basically the same consistency as corn flour, and it comes from the glacial melt into the lake, and basically it absorbs like warm colors so like your reds and yellows and it refracts refracts back it refracts. it refracts back the blues and the greens which make these lakes these incredible colors so on this lake we are at an elevation of 1731 meters i think above sea level so we're pretty high up and lake louise the town of lake louise is actually canada's highest town which is kind of cool and the lake is two kilometers long and like one point something kilometers wide so she a big lake you don't want to fall in for sure because the water temperature here is between 5 and 7 degrees Celsius, which is absolutely freezing. 
Uh, and and its deepest point of this lake is actually 70 meters, so it's pretty wild. That that's how deep it is. So imagine how cold it is down on the bottom because. I just stuck my hand in the top and it's a whole lot of nope for me. Do you know what else I was just thinking? It's crazy that we've walked on this lake. Oh yeah? Yeah, like we've literally walked probably where we're canoeing right now in the winter. We're basically Jeebus, so we can walk on water. <laughs> Not really, sorry. <laughs> now it's time for me to sit back, relax, and let Chelsea do the paddling. Ash go with me. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, we'll be going in circles. Yeah, so up there where my finger is, Chelsea's probably gonna laugh at this in the video, up here, that's where we were this morning when we went for our little strolling up to the tea house. with our canoe just want to do a big shout out to mother nature and the universe for holding off on the weather because we have had the best day we have not gotten wet we've just it's just been magic and all of a sudden it's starting to rain and get way colder so she top lad it really turned on for us it might not have <laughs> yeah. been sunny it might have been cloudy but it wasn't rainy so yeah exactly you can't ask for much anyway. more exactly we hope that you guys enjoyed our day out in Lake Louise and coming along with us. If you are planning on heading to Lake Louise, we strongly encourage you to move beyond the shore trail. Obviously, we know it's not possible for everyone to do like major hikes, but just move beyond the, the shore trail. There's so much to see, even just doing the shore lake loop, uh, not the loop, sorry, the shore lake trail beyond like the main part of the shore is just really beautiful and it'll get you out the crowds a little bit as well yeah so exactly yeah you'll see a bit more and you won't have people standing on top of your truck yeah exactly because the shore like the front of the shore is crazy at this time of year anyway guys thanks so much for watching and please if you liked it hit the thumbs up subscribe subscribe like it turn the button on to get the notifications so that you know when we have the next video and we'll see you next week bye